folks, Jose here for another video tutorial by WPBasics.org. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a site-specific plugin. As a beginner, it can be very scary to mess around with code, and it can be really easy to cause the dreaded white screen of death. All it takes is for you to forget to add a single character to your functions.php file, and you will break your site causing untold panic. You can avoid this if you use a site-specific plugin. If there is an error with the code, WordPress will detect it and deactivate your plugin. All you have to do to correct the problem then is to go into your site-specific plugin and fix the code. Once you've fixed your code, just reactivate your plugin. I highly recommend that beginners, and everybody for that matter, create a site-specific plugin where they can add custom PHP code with no worries of breaking their site. Creating a site-specific plugin is super easy. The first step is to go to your plugins folder, like so, and to create a, a new folder. I'm going to name my folder my uh, theme dash site dash plugin. Then the next step is that to create a file inside that folder like so. You can name this file whatever you like but I would recommend using the same name as your folder just for simplicity. So I'm going to name it my theme dash plugin dot PHP. The next step is to add a little bit of code to the file we just created. Add this code to the top of that file. Basically what you're doing here under plugin name is you're giving it the name that it will be known as on your plugins directory and then the rest of this information you can just replace with your own information and save that. Now that we've saved that, we just need to head over to our WordPress dashboard and activate our plugin. So we're going to go to our plugin section right here, click on that button, and our uh, plugin should appear now. So let's just scroll down to it. And where would it be? Here it is. My theme site plugin. So we just click on activate. And our plugin is now ready to be used. So if we wanted to add some code to it, we would just head back to our um, code editor and we could add the code, any code here that we wanted to. So for example, we can add something like uh, this code. So we would just paste our code right here. Now this code would just enable us to add short codes into our uh, widget area because by default you can't do that. So then we would just save it. Now if we went into our uh, widget area here, we would now be able to use short codes here. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's just an example that how easy it is that we would be able to do it. Well, that's it. You're done. Now you have a safe place to add your PHP code or any snippets that you find on the web or that you need for your website. You no longer have to be worried that you will break your site if you do something wrong. The worst case scenario is that your plugin will be deactivated. I hope you've liked this tutorial. If you did, please hit like and please hit subscribe. And if you want to see other tutorials like this one, please visit my website at wpbasics.org. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.